Oh, where is everybody? Where are you? Oh, there you are. Hello in there. I can see you. Can you see me? I'm Mr. Wizard. Mrs. Boyd can't be here today, so I'm teaching you P.E. Yay! Like, sorry, Mr. Wizard, move across. I am here, guys. Welcome to week two of P.E. at home. Hope you're all going very well. I'm just giving you a quick um, introduction to what we're doing for P.E. in week two. So for foundation to year two, this is the screen that you will see on the website. So you're watching, currently watching this video that's here in the middle. Move down a little bit and there is a list of people's names here. And they're the people who I've received uh, a f uh, their answers for the um, activities at the end of last week. So they completed week one's activities and at the bottom there were some questions to answer and they submitted those to me. Now. If you completed the activities in week one and your name's not here, you might have forgotten to press the submit button after the questions and it just didn't get to me. But don't worry, if you did the work, let me know and I'll tick you off that you did it. My email's just there, just send me a quick message. Now let's move on to week two. Our learning intention this week, as you can see here in blue, it says, I can create my own fitness challenges. When we're talking about being able to create and develop and be able to pick and choose what we want to do when we want to stay fit and healthy. First of all, you're going to have a game of um, rock, paper, scissors versus me. Now, how do we do that? You're asking. I'm on this side of the computer. You're on that side of the computer. We will achieve this with a little bit of trickery, a bit of magic. Maybe Mr. Wizard was involved. Yeah, maybe, maybe. So you'll click on this link and it should take you to something that looks a little bit like this. So you'll, um, this is the first screen you'll see. And you'll just wait until the blue screen comes up. When the blue screen comes up, you need to choose whether you're rock, paper or scissors. Now on the... It, the, the movie will go along a little bit and then it'll show you what I actually chose and you'll have to work out if you won against me or if you lost or if we drew. And depending on that is depending on what activity you have to do next. So it's just a little bit of fun to get your body moving and warmed up. Once you've done the Rock, Paper, Scissors Challenge, move down a little bit here on the website page and you'll do an watch your name activity. With this, you need to know the letters in your name. I think you'll be all right with that. And you'll go through and find the letters of your name and do the activities next to it. So for my name, my name's Michelle. So I'd have to look for an M, which is down here. And it says to do three somersaults. Now I'd have to find a safe place to do three somersaults. Make sure there's nothing that you can hit and that you're very careful when you're trying them. Then I, for in Michelle, I would balance on my left foot for the count of 10 or for 10 seconds. And then C, let's have a look where's C gone, up here. It says hop on foot five times. I could hop on my foot for five times, that's pretty easy. And H, hop like a frog eight times. Rid it. I think you should make the noises as you do it as well. So, and then I'd go E, L, L, E and do all the activities that go with the letters of my name. I might even choose to do my surname. So B, O, Y, D. Now I'd like you to have a go at doing these activities with your name. You could even try with your middle name as well, if you've got one. You might choose some other words to do like uh, jump or hop, maybe fitness. Come up with some great words and see what activities and combinations you can come up with. Once you've done that for a little while, I have a would you rather activity here. We did one last week. This one's a different one. So it's a little bit of fun. It'll get your heart rate up 
and you get to choose which activity, which side of the screen you like the best. Now I've popped in a little movie here that I've created for you. There's no activity, uh, there's no exercise involved here. It's just a little bit of fun. Just have a look at this little movie here. It only goes for a minute or so. And then finally, down the bottom here are the questions. These are the ones that the people last week answered and they submitted to me. I only get that it only gets sent to me. It doesn't get to send it sent to anyone else. So I'm the only one who sees the answers. Make sure you put your first name and your last name up here. Work your way through the answers and down the bottom press submit. And that's it for this week guys. That is week two done for you. Now I know last week some people were really really keen to do extra. So I've left um, week one's activities down the bottom. You might like to go back and have a go at week one activities on, on other days. Or up the top on the page, there is a part up here that says other PE activities. If you click on that, it will take you to a screen with a whole range of other things you might like to choose to have a go at throughout the week. There's different links there for um, online things. Make an obstacle course. That'd be pretty fun. Make sure you ask for um, permission to do that. Just click on that and it'll give you some ideas. So that's about it guys. That's what you're doing this week for PE. Have a great week. See ya!